That should be us back again, folks. And we're back. Hello. Third time lucky. Touch wood. Nothing bad happens this time, Mike. Hello, hello. Oh, bah, well. Test, test. Touch wood. Nothing bad happens this time, Mike. Hiya, big guns. How are you, mate? Still love me, big guns. Yeah, we are live. Again. <laughs> uh. And I've lost my chat. Here we go. Got chat now. And got you. So, what were you saying about your Mr. Popman? Um. Basically, it was running it in the furrow, and the flavour was great. It was nice, but I don't want to slate Rip Tipper's design too much, but it was absolutely pish. Juice <laughs> would pish out of it if you overdripped just the tiniest bit. Say you put in just a wee, say there's a wee bit in the nozzle, you just put that there in, straight out the airflow. So... Sorry, two seconds. Daniel, remove your camera off the X split screen. Then people won't be able to hear you again. Hiya, Zan. <laughs> but I finally got a decent setup on for an e-leaf product. It's it's not bad. It is that overhang? Pardon? Or is it just the airflow? Uh, that's, that's the overhang. Uh, is it the overhang? Oh, it's just oh, it's the airflow. It's just the airflow. airflow was there. It looked like overhang. I thought Bunny would have um, Bunny would have kicked off at you there if it had been an overhang. Do you know what? Um, stock coil I was actually thinking of. I was actually thinking of the Valerian. Apparently it is the dog's box. The Valerian tank is, but apparently the coils are getting worse. You know, Daniel will probably hate me this. I've been here two minutes, you can see the panic in Roy's eyes. <laughs> okay. I would recommend that. Hextron. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, fantastic wee tank, and the coils are actually quite good as well. And I have a DAC coil in there for yunks. Months. See, yeah, I'm. I've went off sort of stock coils at the minute. I've went more down into the rebuildable route myself, just because, you know, stock coils. It's easy. You don't have to work. You don't have to calculate your ohms and stuff like that. There, I like. I like the challenge of having to get the build completely right and working it right because with stock coils you sort of lose that there. You lose the challenge of here if I don't do this right, it's not gonna. You're not gonna get great taste or flavor, um, and also it's not gonna work right. And Zan, he hasn't even got the name right. It's Sport in Vape, not Sport and Vape. Sport in Vape. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna complain because. Um, yeah, big guns. It's that Mr. Casey is um, BCR is actually hosting for for us um, for the next fifteen minutes or so. Oh, look at this! Look at show off here. Just because you haven't vaped in the show before doesn't mean you have to start doing body tricks. Uh, I'm getting cramp in my leg. No, I'll just blind you all with my my light. One. There. <laughs> such tricks, such tricks. Yeah. You can show off. 
while we're here, folks, um, just to remind you that I'll put the link into the Vape Lounge NI. There is a competition running. Are you gilly? Oh, I leave my wee case alone. <laughs> there is a competition running um, that you can win a customised plaque um, you, of your choice. You can help design it, and it'll be handmade for you um, by Vape and Jockey and his girlfriend. And I yeah. got it right. We'll take it down tomorrow evening. Design it. Um, And it's there. All you have to do is like two pages, Vape Lounge NI, which you probably already have done so, and also RNC Equine. So it's open to absolutely everybody worldwide and UK. If you're in the UK, the postage will be covered. Um, if you're the rest of the world, then we would ask you just to help with the thing. Um, yeah, Mark, we have I've heard about Vape Around. Also, Mark of the Six and Mark Brown. Hi. Yeah, Vape Around. So, Chris Empire has posted a video on it. Basically, getting two YouTube reviewers for not doing their research and everything else. But I'm not going to get into that. It's not. I don't think it's 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 my place to get into into, into it. Um. And I personally haven't done enough research onto the, the product. Yes, it's heat, not burn, everything else. But who defines the word vaping? Um, and what's, what is a vaping product? Yes, it's short for vapor. So, evening, Sinner. Grandma destroying the vape community from the inside out. It is, Daniel. Totally agree. Um, Hence, well, we're going to get off the subject, but it is weird to see um, Ben co Ben the co-host by vaping tonight for the first few shows. He didn't even have a vape on a vape yeah. show. Strange person. But get into get make sure you all get over to Vape Line GNI, um page where I shall post the link. It's also on Vape Line, or NI community eighteen plus page. So make sure you all get entered into it and help support my wee son in his venture with his girlfriend. And I'm getting it right for a change. I just saw on a day a wee bit of a promo uh, for anybody who's actually thinking of getting into the rebuildable route. Um, although there's people slating the oppo on online for my first RTA it hasn't given me any problems um, I know with the Kylan V1 some people started off as that for that as their first rebuildable tank um, and I don't want to waste this juice just to take everything apart but honestly see build wise see chimney wise you could put it on with your eyes shut, you can put the chimney on. Fine. Um, I mean, I've only I only started getting into rebuildables after Christmas, sir. And uh, honestly, the Oppo, I I would recommend the Oppo to anybody. Um, just because it's small, it's not big. I haven't had any problems with it, and it's also reliable too. That's what I would recommend. It's like any of them, there's very few. I don't think there's any manufacturers out there that will actually make a tank that is designed to leak. Nine times out of ten, it comes down to user faults and stuff like that. There, um, there's Craig saying Chris should go down to the paper round office and chat with them, I think. <laughs> Craig, it's fine. If that's what you want, the show's driven by people in chat. So if that's what you want to chat about, um, but it's not something it, to me. Um, I would be on the same opinion as as Daniel is. 
that if it's safer than smoking, if it's safer than actually burning the tobacco and it's safer for the heat, not burn it, well then, you know, that's somebody's choice to do it. If it's a stepping stone between somebody smoking and stopping smoking, fine. It's, it makes perfect sense. If that person then can get off that and then they go on to vaping, but it's more the wild claims that some people, wild claims that some people will will come up with and saying that um, heat not burn is ninety percent safer or whatever they're coming out, whatever they're gonna come out with. It's right back at the start of the vaping was when people said that vaping wasn't safe and everything else, but now we know that with the health health English Health Authority coming out and saying it's ninety seven percent safer. Exactly. The proof's in the pudding. If vaping yeah. wasn't wasn't as good as what people make it out to be, then people would still be smoking cigs at the end of the day. Um, and one thing I'm going to say on it is fair play to all the shops for taking a venture into something that maybe five, six years ago was a risky thing to do, but now look at what's happened. People are making money off it. People are doing well. More people are getting off the cigs. You know, I'm healthier for, I know I'm healthier for it. Still couldn't walk the land to me, like, but I know I'm healthy for it. I don't make up now with sore chest or um, you know, tightness in my chest or whatever because of smoking. My house smells better. Your throat also feels a lot better as well because of the way the cigarettes burn the inside of your throat and shit, stuff. Yeah. The only thing I do find, some, some juices that I bait do, do get me heartburn, but that's maybe just down to the amount of sweetener and stuff that's in it, and that's just my body's way of dealing with it. I wouldn't say it's vaping that is giving me the heartburn. It could be attributed to it, but your heartburn is better than the crap, that you, the 4,000-odd chemicals you're putting in from, from cigs. At the end of the day, you'd rather get heartburn than COPD or something like that there. Totally agree. Totally, totally agree. I'm just watching the chat here. Sinner, I'm not a Bibby's man, so Bibby's doesn't do it for me. Yeah, and Bonnie is a nun. <laughs> She's going to tell me about that. Uh. No, I think personally myself I've seen a change in my, my entire mood now uh, because of now I have a mod. Um, it's waking up having that thing to sort of be like, you know what, the temptation to go back on the cigs isn't there. It's I'll just pick up my vape, I'll have a couple of vapes before I get my shower. Once, when I'm getting ready to go to college, I'll have a vape. When I'm waiting on my bus, I'll have a vape. I'm doing all the stuff I used to do when I was what was a smoker. So I find that it's helped get me out of sort of. I saw like. Uh, it's given me a routine again. Uh, that's what I just say. Like because when I didn't really care, I was having to smoke every every chance I could get. So was I, going to 20 a day. Oh, and Sinner, I'm not a legs person. They're the first thing you throw out of the way. Nice butt, nice woman's butt. Yeah, that's. I would agree with you on that. I'll give them that. Yeah, can, fair enough, fair enough. But they can't help smile at the sight of a, of a bouncing pair of breasticles. <laughs> breasticles. Um, that, by the way, can be purchased at Balamina Vape Club. And I got mine out of the bonza. Total Vapor, Castle Ray, um, or Craigie Road. Whatever, whatever one it is, because some people classify it as the Castle Ray Road, others classify it as Craigie Road. Why are you up that way? My college is up that way, and I was in Belfast uh, on Monday there to go to the hospital, so uh, I know Nathan from the shop, and he's he's... 100%, uh, so just got a boss over, I need liquid anyway, uh, I murdered an entire bottle of White Star Line over the weekend there, 
full 60 mil gone in a weekend. And what that's about 75% of the bottles still left, nearing 50%. That, like, that bottle just goes. The, did you find whenever you, the first vape on it, you didn't really get much of the iron brew? No, I got the, 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 the bubbly gum taste that you were saying. Yeah. But then you come back to it the next day and it's just pure iron brew. Um, another thing. Uh, when I first started vaping it, I got like a nice, refreshing, cool vape instead of it being a nice, warm vape. It's a nice, cool vape all around in the inhale and on the exhale. Yep. I don't know what they put in it to do that. Um, probably it's probably WS thirty two, but I don't know. Maybe I think they maybe put champagne in it to give it the the, the fizz because it has got the full fizz on it, and it really is. It's just it's I still I still maintain to this day that it's the hardest review I've ever had to do. Because yeah, 100%. How, the hell, how the hell do you describe Iron Brew? No matter who you ask, somebody will tell you something different. So I think it's one of those liquids that say you don't like to drink Iron Brew, it's one you could maybe vape all day because some of the custardy ones, I know myself. I can get sick of them really easy. Like, really, really easy. You haven't tried Captain's Custard then? I'm telling you now, anybody that tells me they get sick of tasting Captain's Custard, there's something into their head like that. Because it is such a fantastic juice. And it's full fat custard, but it's not a sickly custard. And I will keep saying full fat because. And now that James has changed it, he better still have it as full fat. How to describe Iron Brew? If you piss, if your piss looks like this, then you need to drink more. If it tastes like it, you also need to drink more. <laughs> so what you're saying, Roy? When I'm there, I'm going to get hooked on that. On Iron Brew, yes, balls, yes, Sonic. Whenever you come and you and you, I will make sure that I have a bottle of Iron Brew. You will get hooked on it. And the captain's custard. And I can guarantee you now, anybody doesn't, if you like bananas, anybody doesn't get hooked on that, there's something wrong. Um, that's the, in the, the second part of, the, of my reviews. And Craig, what does that taste like? What does this part of it taste like? Um... Is that how you get first class for free? <laughs> um, another thing I want to say is uh, fair play to everybody who does all the reviews, especially big props to you and Daniel and stuff like that there. It gets, gets more reach for the shops and also gets their liquid out in the, out in the, the air. As well, you know, say if it wasn't for use, um, probably wouldn't have went on to that. I'll probably not try any of the captain's custard. I'll probably, I probably would never have even picked up a bottle of six licks. I probably would have stuck to lemon tart, cinnabons, and tropical delight. Yeah, but you know what the reviews. <laughs> but yeah, it's sometimes yeah. Reviewing can be rewarding whenever somebody gives you just to review and everything else, but it also can be a minefield when you get a juice that you don't particularly like, um, like the review that's going up this evening, if I ever can get my internet running fast enough to upload a review. Um, the peanut butter or Danish. I'm sure Daniel will be cringing now at me, me, even me saying that, because even at the thoughts of it, it tastes like burnt rubber. But you still have to put that up. But you know, at the end of the day, reviewers are the ones who are, are testing juices for you. That way you're not wasting your money, because it, you can only be guaranteed if a, if a reviewer goes, no, don't like this just at all, and there's nothing good to say about it, um, then they probably wouldn't go. 
Oh, Roy, don't dodge the question. Bottle of Rossford Project, craving it, miss it. I've never tried the Rossford product, Sonic, so... Um, being on Nick Salt's blames college stress. What was the question, Sonic? See what you're saying, you better hit on it. You better have a bottle of Ross oh, I better have a bottle of Rossford Project as well. I don't I've never had any. I've never even tasted Ro Ro Rossford Project yet, so I was meant to get some sent to me, but it never arrived. I'm not a big enough reviewer to get some. <laughs> the upset, uh, fuck that site was fine. I'm trying to get a jellyfish going, but it's not going to work. No. Liquid gold, only tried it, but it's nice. Kills salt clans. But, no, so it's. I think. Bonnie, Sonic, Bonnie will tell you how good the um, Iron Brew is. It's liquid crack. Turn to your boss shops. Yeah, that stripple baggy. I am really going to have to get some of that. That's that's um, stripple. So yeah, it sounds absolutely fantastic. It's like raspberry ripple. That's why I started to disconnect. That's why I started to disconnect until I'm done with the review. Huh? Disconnect from what BH? You not done your all your? I thought you done your reviews. For... Hey, Christine. Stripple sounds like happened when a strip when a stripper wets herself on stage. Oh no, Cinnamon has done a stripple down her leg. Smoke <laughs> alarms. Okay. I say that's alarms today. You're always referring to that. Yeah, I heard the I heard the alarms going off in your in your um, review. I was like, is that mine or is it his? So oh, there's another one. Iron Christine says Iron Brew is amazing. Vapor Bunny says Iron Brew is amazing. I think if Colin was in the room still, he would say as well. That's all down to my review. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that there, Owen. Um... Big head. <laughs> but um yeah, it's I enjoy I enjoy reviewing even with the bad ones. It's it's good though, like because 'cause I've never reviewed myself, but I know Craig, Mr. Popman. Uh I know from watching reviews and stuff like that there of different products. Uh not being vaping products, but just any product. Um it's almost like, uh, how how could you word it? It's it's doing the job that somebody in the shop should be doing. Should be doing, like, but in in that their sense, if everybody in the that. shop knew everything about every liquid, it kill sort of the the big the big. Uh, YouTubers and the, sm the reviewers as well. Like, could you imagine if every you walked into every shop and you knew, then you everything about every liquid? There would be no vape and bogan, so there would have been no bonza. Mm -hmm. As much as you despise them, just two, two, two seconds, Ben. Craig, message me and I'll tell you how to get it, mate. Um, send me a, a Facebook message and I'll tell you how how you can get it. Not a problem with that at all. Sorry, going ahead, Ben. Uh, and as much as like many people despise him, Rip Tippers would never have created the Pharaoh. All three versions of it. Don't don't swear on this channel, please. <laughs> Are you okay, Andy? But you think about it. It's good to have reviews because people in the shop they're they're go you're gonna walk in and they're gonna big up this liquid and it might mightn't be great. But it's but the one they want get it's the one they're wanting to get sold. It's the one they're wanting to get sold, so it's great to see the likes of you and Daniel and everybody do it 
Two Vapes and the Vaping Community on YouTube actually providing almost like customer service feedback through the liquids and stuff like that there, if that's the way you sort of, I would, I would sort of word it. Um, I would say the same, but you know, what I, one thing I would say, um, there's a, a couple of uh, Danny um, MBK reviews, um, VCRs and myself. The one thing I would say about the three of us um, is you're going to get an honest opinion. Yeah. Of what we think of what our personal opinion is. If it's not something that we don't personally like, um, you know, I've, I've seen um, Daniel do it, I've seen Danny do it as well, but it's not something that we personally like, we'll say that it's not our personal taste. But because we have reviewed and tested quite a lot of juices, we know what a good juice tastes like and what a, a really crappy chemical one tastes like. Because like. Yeah. Like Daniel and I both have got absolutely opposing flavours tastes. He loves the IBG range, I don't. You know, I, yeah. I was offered to the expo and didn't take it, but that's just my personal choice. I don't I don't particularly like it. Daniel loves it and well, and, and swears by it. But at the same time, you know, it's something like, when I pick up something like that and straight away it's a brand new just out to the market. This is batch there's the batch number on it. Batch number one. Yeah. Batch number one of these juices, and straight away, I can tell that it's a quality juice. The the, the flavors that they've used in it is really high quality flavorings. They've used high quality PG and high quality VG. Hi, Nathan. Do you know Nathan? Oh, there's Nathan Rice. He sees you. Hi, Nathan. What's the crack? How are you, bud? Right. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I'm. Hey everyone, I missed putting a sock over the smoke alarm safety first. But that, that crystal is absent in it. Now from a, a misspent childhood and also vaping colada is nearly its pure form, um, I'm not particularly keen on colada vapes. But because of the quality of that juice, I can vape it. So it is yeah. really good quality. Yes, Nathan, I am vaping the iron brew I did purchase, in case you're wondering. Um, <coughs> Is Nathan total vapor? Uh, yeah. Potentially. I'm not too sure. It could be like a random Nathan. Yeah. But these are all batch zero ones. These are all the first batch. Um, but, as I say, somebody else, yeah, I think they're all, yeah, the other ones are batch one as well, so... Ran, how are you, Dad? <laughs> Daniel, leave. I'm total vapor, Nathan. Ah. Uh. Huh? Daniel, leave. I'm total vapor, Nathan. Don't get that. Oh, well. As long as the saw goes in the smoke alarm VCR and you're not trying to extend, extend your helicopter reach, we're all good. It's, we should be actually finishing this now, we should be getting ready for the next show, but people in chat are chatting, so... I don't mind staying for the next show. Uh, it's not on this network. On the next show, it's on a different network. Yes, VCR's been drinking, he's been drinking Guinness. So folks, don't forget to, to like um, the page and also don't forget to like and subscribe to my, my YouTube channel and also like and subscribe to VCRs as well. If you haven't already done so, um, make sure you subscribe to both those those channels, please. Shameless plug. Um, over in just just over in Daniel's channel at the minute, over in VCR's channel, um, you have a chance to win the sample pack, ten mil sample pack of the six licks that he's done a review on today. So get yourself over to watch watch his video and find out what you have to do to enter it. Not going to tell you what you have to enter. You have to watch the video and see. Um, and also like the vape lounge ni, and also don't forget that there is the competition. Um, 
you've no chance I'm fixing it. I was telling Dines to leave the chat, I was messing around though. Ah. Uh. Well, and um, Maggie's already stole. I say no. Second pack. Maggie's. Hiya, Barry! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McGill. Antrim at Esig. Uh, if I can get this right, I think it's that. That's another wee store. Don't know if Barry stocks. Um, Mr. Popman, do you, Barry? Yeah, maybe answer it. Maggie has won it. Maggie stole it. Unless he got two. And maybe we didn't. Maybe we got one. That'll probably be a fix of Maggie's won it. Um. Candy Crush. Where's Candy Crush? No, doesn't do it yet. Mm. Casey, don't forget me. I know he got to me, Maggie. I'm only joking. Long legs. But um, it's, if you're getting any of them, um, Barry in. <laughs> uh, I just got a message from Nathan there. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, very funny. Very, very funny, uh, Nathan. Props to them sent. Yeah, so they did. Um, very upset. They sent you an absolute. F tons of it, as you call it. Um, I like the mug and the hankies. They're handy for whenever you um, whenever your mod spits. And you're reworking. Candy Crush. Oh. I'm actually in a, in a turmoil between what my favourite one is, but so far, um, let's see from the review of. The what did I do? Oh, the first three I did was those three. Um, the Candy Crush, the Mer the Berry Mellow, and the Harry Berry. Um, the Candy Crush is the favorite one on that. Any fruit lovers would, would love that. Okay, folks. Well, we're going to have to bring the bring this show to an end. For those of you, for those of you in the know, and for you though not in the know, um, I'll be me. I'll be back on with Simon from Coily Tull, um, over on BUKN Network at eight o'clock, and you're all quite welcome to come. Hanky will come in handy if he has to resort to the peanut. Oh God! Oh, and I've got VH of you as well. So if you're in thing, um, that's peanut butter. Peanut butter dinner. I think I've got it thrown far away from me, have I? Custard. Cherry. Probably be the last one I pick up. Daniel, look at the screen. Yeah, Bonnie, yeah, you can come on too, please. Um Daniel, look at the screen. Bad flashbacks. Bad flashbacks. <laughs> uh. Before we go, Roy, do you have any plans for Easter or me? No, I could be working. Um, any vape meets scheduled anywhere? No, there is going to be a vape meet in Balmina on the twenty something of May. Uh, let's see if we can just get the date. Twenty. That's March, April, May. Twenty sixth of May. That's a little bit away. I'm going to put it in the room as well. Twenty sixth of May in Balmina. Um, we're actually running a bus. Um, from Bel Belfast, Antrim, um, Ballymoney, Portrush, any sort of anywhere up to Belfast one way, and sort of maybe up to Portrush the other way. 
Um, and then Ballymena Vape Club. It's a Saturday night. And how do people get involved? Do they just talk to you to sort of organise buses and stuff? or On the, on the Ballymena Vape Club page, it's there. And it will be advertised in the NI Vape community page as well. Closer to the time about the buses. It will be one central pickup in Belfast. Um, as opposed to, it won't be a door-to-door -door service. Although depending on where you are on the way back, I think it could be me that's driving the bus anyway. So we shall see where it is. It's trying to get, it's just trying to get people down because the Balmain of Yip Club. Um, the Balmain of Yip Club is a club, not just a shop. You know, upstairs in it, you've got the pool table, the table tennis table, the dartboard. You have an Xbox downstairs as well. So, but thank you very much, Ben, for coming on this evening. Sorry for all the problems. It's a hundred percent. Hopefully, we'll get back into the swing of things uh, because I've all my coursework sort of out of the road because all my stuff's being sent over to England to be assessed by an external verifier, and uh, just had to redo. Oh, wait, a year's worth of work. Away. And we'll see you all next week, hopefully, guys. No thank you very much, VCR, for um, jumping in and hosting. And thank you to each and every single one of you in chat. And don't forget to jump across to VUKN at 8 o'clock. Um, and we shall see you there. So from me, Roy's Reviews, and from Ben. Goodbye. Bye.